Okay, this is a patient who had a LED diagonal bifurcation disease. He had a disease in the LED diagonal and also on the septal. So we, we had various options of treating this patient. Yeah. This is a 61-year-old diabetic patient who had a, a triple vessel disease. Uh, we planned for stage PCI. But PCI was initial, first stage was for LED diagonal uh, bifurcation. So can you run this picture? So he had a LED diagonal and also some disease in the ostium of the septal. So we decided to treat this bifurcation using bioresorbable vascular scaffold. So next. So we put in uh, uh, three wires, so the LED diagonal and the septal. We did a, a balloon dilatation of the septal and then pre-dilated the LED aggressively as it's very important to before uh, BVS deployment. And uh, after pre-dilating the diagonal we, LED, uh, we took in uh, 3 into 28 millimeter absorbed scaffold and deployed it. As you could see, uh, the, the diagonal flow closed, diagonal closed, and uh, this is a quite a significant big diagonal. The patient started having chest pain and a little hypotension. So we, uh, we had to rewire the, uh, the, through the struts of the absorb, we need to rewire, and we used a two millimeter balloon to open up through the struts and uh, then gradually inflated uh, to 10 to 12 atmospheres, then, uh, then increased upsize to 2.5 millimeter uh, to NC balloon, and then we, decided, we converted it to a, 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 a tap technique to use another absorb. Uh, it was a 2.5 to 28 millimeter. Uh, the point here is uh, we can see that the absorbs, uh, we have used a, a snuggle balloon dilatation wherein we have not overlapped the balloons, so that uh, the, the traditional kissing balloon is avoided when we use a uh, absorb uh, uh, so that you respect the rules of the absorb not to overexpand beyond the recommended limits. So once we uh, deploy the absorb in the diagonal, then we did a high pressure snuggle using two short uh, uh, non-compliant balloons and went up very high pressures up to 20 to 24 atmospheres. And then we did an OCT. So this is the final uh, check angiogram which showed a very good result of both LED diagonal. I will show you the OCT images. I think in interest of time, I'll show you the uh, the the still images. So this was the, the LED, o, o, OCT from the LED, where you could see the, 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 uh, the bifurcation is very well open, and you could see part of the scaffold and the, the diagonal uh, at the 12 o'clock position. And uh, this is the OCT again from the diagonal, where you could see the uh, scaffold uh, very well deployed in the, uh, at the bifurcation at both the diagonal and the LED. And uh, we did a 3D reconstruction. Um, so you could see that uh, the, the absorb is, uh, scaffold is well deployed. Can you, can you run this image? So, so this is a fly-through image uh, uh, where you could see the scaffold well deployed and uh, we could also see the, the guide wire uh, artifact and the guide wire, you can see. So there's no disruption of the scaffold when we uh, deployed at high pressures uh, using uh, the tap technique and uh, the, sca the scaffold was uh, well deployed throughout. So there's no deformation, and we also uh, did a, a, a look at the diagonal ostium uh, to look at the bifurcation. So the, all through the scaffold was uh, looking very good. And we, uh, we also turned back okay. after the imaging, the entire imaging, and then looked at the ostium of the diagonal. So the 3D reconstruction really helps to know the scaffold, the uh, integrity of the scaffold, when particularly when we do a complex uh, uh, cases using the scaffold as we are learning to use scaffold in more real world cases. And see, we could see the ostium of the diagonal very well patent and uh, well open. So we could also do a longitudinal reconstruction of the same 3D rec uh, imaging in uh, various forms. I think I would uh, skip, uh, move on. So this is the final result uh, with a very well uh, opened LED diagonal. And this patient has been on clinical follow-up and is almost now uh, going to be one and a half years, over than 18 months, and we did a CT follow-up and this patient is uh, doing very well. Both the CT showed a well-patent scaffold in both the LED and the diagonal. Thank you for your patient listening.